In this presentation, we will explore how play shapes the brain and what parts of the brain play effects. The three parts of the brain consist of reptilian, which deals with the vital body functions such as heart rate, limbic, which is responsible for our emotions, and neocortex, which is where our memory and imagination reside, among other things. As we get older, our brain's processing speed slows down, kind of like our metabolism. We need to keep our brain stimulated for optimum growth, and play can assist with that. Now let's play. Lumosity is the name, memory, attention, and speed is the game. The neocortex part of the brain is where the focus of our game skills lie. All skills used for this game originated here. This part of the game had me memorize the placement of multiple tiles. The ability to memorize lies within your prefrontal lobe. However, there are other parts of the brain where memory resides also. It's a great feeling when you remember. Next was a game of playing attention to where the bird was on the screen and what number was displayed before it all disappeared. This was a visually and attentively involved game where the excitable lobe dealing with vision and the parietal lobe dealing with memory and attention were used. Slow and steady wins the race. Not this time! Speed is the third skill used to match identical cards as quickly as possible. Speed deals with the motor cortex of the parietal lobe. So my game, Luminosity, used three skills, memory, attention, and speed, all of which use the neocortex of the brain, where all development of imagination, consciousness, and abstract thoughts created using Powtoon.